Hello, hi everyone. Um, this is Joanne Westcott, and um, we have a big problem. <laughs> we have a very big problem. Israel has been killing Palestinians for decades. Yesterday and today, um, they've been hitting them really hard, and um, Palestine has the right to defend themselves. And every time that they try and defend themselves, Israel tries to say that um, that it's a terrorist attack, but it's not because I, if I was a Palestinian and I was in Palestine and they were killing my family, I would defend them. And if I defended them, Israel would say I am a terrorist for defending my family. In America, we're able to defend ourselves. It's called self-defense. And um, just like if David Markarian and his people come here and try and kill me like they want, like they've been trying to do, well, um, I have the right to shoot his ass. And I will. That's just the way the ball rolls here. That's how things function here. And it's okay. They don't call me a terrorist. Uh, the police officer confirmed that I'm able to do that. And it's okay. So I wish so much that people uh, that have... They do not have the understanding that what is going on in Palestine is a terrorist action by Israel. It's a terroristic action by Israel. Israel is committing uh, terrorism against them and calling them terrorists to get away with it. It's, it's not fair to kill a baby, to kill a child, to rape them and torture them and call it self-defense. That is not right. That is not cool. And uh, I do street activism, and I, and I talk to people, and I tell them, look, this is what Israel is doing in Palestine. Um, a lot of them wonder, what is Palestine? I say, Palestine is a country abroad that is right alongside Israel that is, is, is now an Israeli occupation that Israel wants to call their own. But it's, it's a settlement. It's an occupation. It's an illegal occupation. And, uh, and a lot of them say, well, we killed the Indians over here and took over their land. And I'm like, okay, that's bad. That's wrong. That was 200 years ago. Um, do you, would you agree in having an, an Indian family next door killed for their home today? And they say no. So that's the, the difference. Today is a different time. People do not uh, accept those kinds of actions. And if they knew that Israel was doing this and then calling themselves the chosen, they're not chosen to kill, murder, and take over the world. That's not what they're chosen for. What they're chosen for is to share God's word and people are chosen to support them in that. It's not supporting them in whatever they want to be supported in. That is um, not true. <laughs> so for all the Christians out there, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> Those Christian Zionists, they're wrong. <laughs> And uh, a lot of people say, well, since I discovered that Israel is doing this, I hate the Jews. Okay, well, you know, a lot of people, they have a hard time uh, accepting that, um, that not all Jews are really bad. Um, there's a lot of them that study the Talmud teachings. The Talmud teachings is very wicked and evil, and they want to take over the world. They call us Gentiles. Um, animals and goyim and gentile and uh, that's not what we are <laughs> we are people we are human beings and they don't consider us that they only consider themselves human beings and that is not right and they have taken over a lot of the world especially our country in the US they've taken over our homeland security Congress um, Federal reserves absolutely since 1913 ever since its establishment and um, Wall Street, Hollywood, um, the news media, they've taken over many parts of our country and most, the most important government entities in our country. And uh, that should not be acceptable. And our people here, they have no idea. When I tell them, when I say, look, this is what they've done, this is what they're doing, and this is what shouldn't be happening, and it's happening, we need to have some kind of uprising, uh, there has to be a revolution. There has to be uh, a revolution against the way things have been operating in the U.S. And um, we cannot just let it continue. We, we cannot allow it. Excuse me.
Sorry about that. And um, and a lot of people they they don't they do not understand why it is that so many so many others such as myself, um, activists, humanitarians, um, are making an outcry. They just do not understand why. And and I try to and I do explain to them and I let them know, hey guys, you know, <laughs> you really need to go on YouTube and check out the Mossad in 9/11. <laughs> You really need to see that because it's very interesting. And and I tell some of these people because, so, oh, poor Jews, they were in the Holocaust. And I was like, you know, I have discovered something very interesting. The Holocaust had to do with eliminating mixed Jews, like Polish Jews, Russian Jews, Arabic Jews, Muslim Jews, Palestinian Jews, gay Jews, uh, Jews that did not um, accept the the operation that they were operating at the time which was a eugenics operation and a lot of people did know about it they did know about it and just like today there's some jews that do not agree with the occupation there's some jews that do not agree with what israel is doing to the palestinians now those jews they're not happy about and if they can eliminate them they will and they have um eliminated a few of them and during the eugenics operation of Hitler, which wasn't really a holocaust, it, well, it was a holocaust. And it was a holocaust of, of people that they did not want to become a part of their Israeli state, of their Jewish, Jewish state, which is an occupation and a settlement. And um, so they didn't want them there because they wanted to function with their own religion, their own beliefs, they wanted to have uh, the Talmud teaching college, and, and they, the, the college that they have there, it, it's, a, it's a Talmud teachings uh, that um, teaches them how to be immoral <laughs> to us, <laughs> how to treat us um, in a certain way, and that it's okay to steal from us. It's okay to, to take a, our liver if they need it one, because we don't matter, only they do. Things like that that are in this Talmud teaching. And and so I I have a problem with that. I have a big problem with that. <laughs> I was like telling these people, okay, how do you feel about the Talmud teaching? What is the Talmud teachings? Let me show you what it is. I show them what it is. They don't like it. They're really upset about it. I'm like, well, you need to learn more about this because there's a lot that our people have no idea about. And these are the people that are operating our country. So they fluoridate our water, but they do not fluoridate their own water. They put chemicals and injections into our food and, and, and animals, uh, and they don't do it to their own. They put fluoride into our toothpaste, and they don't do it to their own. And uh, this is the way they do this. This is the way they're killing us slowly in America. They do chemical trails. Uh, in vaccines, they put poisons in, in vaccines as well. Um, and our Americans, a lot of them, they have no idea because they're so dumbed down. They're dumbed down because of television. Television is owned by Hollywood. Sure, there's great shows, there's great entertainment, but it's, it's entertainment that keeps our American people entertained while there's so much going on in the world they need to really know because it's going to cause their lives and their family's lives and their friends lives it's it's not just something minor it's something major you know it's like people please you have to wake up you have to find out what the heck's going on because they're they're like keeping you entertained while they're taking over our world our country and then, and they've already stolen trillions and trillions. They've taken trillions and trillions out of our Federal Reserves. And they own us with our own stolen money. And then they want to say, well, we're just smarter people. We're better people. That's why we're rich. We're more rich and we own everything. No, it's not because they're smarter people. It's not because they're better people. It's because they're more wicked and evil and willing to kill as many, as many people they can to be where they are, and they have. And they're willing to steal anything and everything they can to be where they are, and that's what they've done. And so it's not because they're better. They've never been better. These are evil people. They are very evil. And I do appreciate the Jewish people that, that go up against them, 
because they, they do not agree with what's going on and what they're doing. And uh, so that's something to be really appreciated. And uh, one moment, please. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> my, my system is not working that well, but, but we need to uh, soon have a better system to work with. <laughs> and I will. I do have another camera system, and it's just not loading on my computer for it to be posted on a post on Facebook. Um, so I'm trying to get that function figured out. So I guess there's a configuration that I would have to uh, it, um, kind of um, it, put together with the, com with the computer and the camera and everything. But anyway, we were talking about something very important. And uh, so a lot of our American people, they are very upset. They really get upset when they find out a lot of this information. Like, um, as we were talking just about uh, the Holocaust much earlier um, during this conversation, um, uh, the Rothschilds, they funded Hitler. And then uh, the transfer agreement in 1933 with Hitler um, was all about taking over Palestine. And so why is it that so many people cannot figure out that if Hitler was involved with the transfer agreement and taking over Palestine in 1933, how, how is it that he was already aware of what, was, uh, what the agenda was about, what the plans were? You know, he, he didn't just do a holocaust against the Jews, no. He did a holocaust against Jews who would not fit in to the Israeli state. That's what he was doing. And that, and doesn't it make anyone wonder why the Israeli state became the Israeli state after the Holocaust? And they try to make it sound like, oh, well, we found them a home because of what happened to them. No, 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 no. They were killing people that they did not want to be a part of their Israeli state. And, um... So even, even uh, it, there's just so many people that say, well, my, my ancestor or my, my great, 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 great grandfather or uncle was there. I said, well, apparently they were not suitable. One way or another, for some reason or another, they were not suitable for the Israeli state. And uh, just, just look at all the little details and you will be able to figure it out. Okay. Now, the Rothschilds own 80% of Israel. They funded Hitler. And then is Israel dedicated the, the Supreme Court building to the Rothschilds. And, I mean, all the bankers are people beneath the Rothschilds. All these people are, it's like their, their peers are the Rothschilds. And our, our um, Federal Reserves is 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 a place where these these warmongers are are making all this money out of and and um they're they're funding all the wars through it they're funding all their evil operations through our own federal reserves and that is something very serious and a lot of people they they have no idea about this and it's like why can't they just see through this <laughs> it's it's really easy to figure out, but people do not want to do it. So they don't want to, they, they're just like stubborn. It's like, no, no, no. We're going to listen to what our elementary school taught us. We're going to listen to what high school taught us. I'm like, come on. Our school system is, is, is set up by the Zionists, and by them. It's set up by them, especially for us to learn and understand the way they want us to learn and understand. They, they function and operate everything we have in, in the U.S. So it, it's something very serious. And, uh, and, and they're killing the Palestinians with, with America's money, especially America's stolen money. Not only that, they get funded in the trillions, in the trillions and trillions of dollars and, and uh, to do this atrocity. And a lot of people hate our Americans, and I don't blame them. And I don't blame them because if, if there were a group of people killing my people, 
I would be upset too. And so, I mean, this is something that a lot of people have really either ignored because they feel helpless or they, they uh, fight it because they really believe what the government tells them and what the government has taught them. And, and it's something that needs to be reevaluated. And um, hopefully, I'm hoping that soon it, it will be. And um, here again, my computer has problems. So I have to constantly mess with it. But so, um, so, so there's there, the time is coming now. The time is coming that uh, so many people are, are becoming aware that we still need so many more to learn more about what's happening. We can't just just let it go because there's no more hope for so many. Don't let it go because there's no more hope. At least die fighting if if that's if that's what we have. If <laughs> why why just give up? I say to myself like some people say, Joanne, gosh, Joanne, why why are you fighting this? They they won already. I'm like, no, they're not going to win comfortably. I want people to find out. I want people to fight them. I want them to know that they're not going to win, and they're not. Just like they have been trying to destroy the world, just like they've been uh, creating all these weapons, ways of destroying our planet, especially with the Heart Blue Bean Project. No, 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 no. These people are going to go down with us if we're going to go down. Because they have created so many weapons, they're going to destroy themselves with their own weapons. Just like the, the nukes in Israel, they've been leaking from the inside out. People have been dying and they have cancer. They've been, being, they've been born um, deformed and everything because of these nukes leaking in, inside of Israel. Because the Israelis, they're not really smart people. They're just mean, cold-blooded, evil, demonic people. That's all they are. They need the Gentiles to to be able to maintain their their nuclear devices because they're not smart enough to do it. They, there, there are no international inspections of the nukes that they have. And there should be, but they don't want it. And then people that they do hire, if they're Gentiles, they later, they later end up killing all these Gentiles that know secrets, that know things, that are aware of things, just like the underground military bases and people from Area 51 and things like that. But um, there's just so much more. And um, so I'm hoping that this video will work and it will function properly. If it does, then we really have to do a much better quality video. <laughs> And, um, but uh, I, it really hurts me that, that Palestine is suffering so much. Please, my friends, everyone out there, please help. Please post some information to make people aware of what's happening. And Palestine deserves to defend themselves. Why call it a war if they're not even allowed to fight back? Why? It's a massacre, that's why. It's a massacre that they're calling a war. And it's not a war. It's not fair if they cannot defend themselves, and they have not been able to defend themselves for decades, since 1917, and we just need to do something about it. Please, please be an extra voice. Go to my page. I have a lot of information. Please share it. I, I beg you. Thank you so much, and um, I hope that um, we will be able to um, see more people speak now. Thank you.